Hello my friends, and welcome back to another tutorial video for Como Rebi, the tiling window manager for Windows. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how you can configure a floating workspace. This is a workspace on which the windows will never be tiled and will always float. Keep in mind that to follow along with this tutorial, you will need at least version 0.1.19 of Komorebi. Let's get started. So right now, let's make this a little bigger. We have a couple of workspaces. This is basically the example configuration in the quick start. Uh, we have this BSP uh, layout on workspace one and we have the vertical stack layout on Workspace 2. I'm gonna switch over to that for a second. So here we have the, the master view, and then we have the stack view, and you can see we're tiling, we're moving things around. But what if, what if we wanted this workspace to be a floating workspace? Well, what you would do is you would remove layout from this workspace configuration definition. So I have removed that now and I'm gonna hit save. That is saved. Now we're navigating back over to workspace number two. It looks the same, but everything is now loading. And it's, you know, it's basically the default windows loading window manager experience. I think it's quite common for people on Linux tiling window managers to also have a workspace that is like this, a workspace that is dedicated to applications that don't tile well or are better suited to floating. So now you can do this too. And, and all of your regular tiling still continues on all of the other workspaces, right? So we have workspace one here with BSP, works as you'd expect. And you can still use your uh, focus workspace shortcuts to focus back to the floating workspace, or you can have multiple floating workspaces. It doesn't matter. You can still navigate between workspaces, including from floating workspaces. What if we change our mind? What if we're like, okay, I tried the floating thing, it is not for me. All you have to do is bring a layout definition back in so we can revert to vertical stack. I'm gonna hit save here. I'm gonna navigate back. And look, everything is back as it was at the beginning of the tutorial. So that is pretty much it, my friends. That is how you two can configure a floating workspace. Before I go, as always, I would like to give a very big thank you to the sponsors of this project. Thank you to this private sponsor, Michael, Ace Linkio, Timothy, Leandro, Maxwell, Gustavo, Solomon, Alex, Evan, Julian, and Hisayuki. My friends, you are all amazing and I appreciate your support so much. If you too would like to become a sponsor, head on over to the repository page and you'll see the sponsor button. Go ahead and click that. You'll be taken to this page. Even if you can sponsor for a dollar a month, it makes such a huge difference to me. Honestly, I appreciate it so, so much. However, if you are not in a position to become a sponsor, the very next best thing that you can do is subscribe to the YouTube channel where I'm guessing you're watching this video right now. As of today, we have 674 subscribers. Pretty cool. We are aiming for 1000. You may have noticed some ads playing on all of these tutorial videos, on all of the live programming videos. Once we hit 1000, we'll start to get 
a cut of that sweet, sweet ad revenue. So if you subscribe to the channel, it's a very nice passive way that you can support the development of Komorebi. If you like this video, of course, of course, make sure to leave a like and leave a comment. I hope that whatever you all do today, you have a great, great day, free Palestine, and I'll see you all back here next time.